Russian Media Group, and let's give him a warm freedom welcome. Thank you very much. Good morning. Um, before I start my presentation, I thought I might explain how I became affiliated with the Russian Media Group, because you can probably tell, unlike Rita, I'm probably not Russian. So a couple of years ago, I was at a networking event, and this woman approached me asking me, what do you do? And I said, well, I'm in business development. And she said, you know, you should really uh, work with me. I have this great company, and I want to tell you all about it. So I decided to have a meeting with her. And she explained to me that this woman is Emily Etman, one of the owners of the company. And we, we had a very good meeting. She explained how everything worked, what the opportunity would be. And then I did a due diligence. I checked out with, I checked some of the people that were advertising with the Russian media group. I also spoke to some people in the Russian community. Everything checked out perfectly, but I didn't take the job. My background has been mostly in commercial banking, working in the treasury management and corporate trust areas of the banks, and that's the products that support the lending. That's not part of the lending. It's the other products and services that corporations use. So to me, this was such a different thing. I, I just wasn't going to do it. Fast forwarding another year to 2012, uh, a friend of mine started advertising with the Russian Media Group, encouraged me to take another look, and about just about a year ago today, I joined the group, and it's just been a wonderful experience for the past year. So I just wanted to share that with you. Now, the presentation is more about ethnic media. What is it, and why would I consider it? Let's see if I can work this thing. Okay. So I started off just doing a little research on some definitions of ethnic media, and here are three. First off, the media fashion with a particular ethnic minority group or ethnic minority community in mind. A publication, whether that's news, television, radio, online, print mag magazine, any sort of publication that caters to a specific ethnic community. And importantly, media directed toward a specific ethnic group and often written or broadcast in a language native to that group, and our company certainly does that. Now, I thought it was significant to take a look at the population growth and what's gone on over the last 20 years specifically. So the U.S. population has grown by 60 million people between the 1990 census and the 2010 census. And the Chicagoland area, whether you're aware of that or not, it's the third largest metro area in the country, right behind New York, and LA. About 16% of the Russian-speaking people in the United States live in Illinois, and that comes to around 800,000 people. So it's a large community. Now, about ethnic media itself, this is, this is an old survey, and I'm sure the numbers would be up a little from this, but even in 2005, okay, 13% of the U.S. adult population prefers ethnic media, and that translates to 29 million people. Ethnic media reaches about a quarter of the adult population in the country, and that population, I saw a more recent number, is now about 313 million people. So there's definitely a market for ethnic media. Um, the Russian-American market is very interesting. So you have about five million Russian-speaking people in the United States. They tend to be better educated and a higher per capita income. And a, a, a subsequent slide will show you a little bit why that was the case. Um, most of them I'm going to say most of them out here, 98% of them are bilingual, speaking English and Russian. They may prefer to speak Russian at home or when they're with a group of their friends. The older Russian community likes the print media, and just like in our, our country, and although I think it's with all of us now, certainly the internet and online is for the younger generations. So, uh, you know, whatever media work you're doing, you probably need a mix. Now, 
Interestingly, in that period from 1990 to 2010, the, Russian, the foreign Russian-born population increased about 300 percent, and that coincides with the breakup of the former Soviet Union. And you're looking not just at Russia, folks. There's about 15 countries that make up the former Soviet Union, but mostly all of them speak Russian. Uh, again, there are another two and a half million people in the United States, Americans who claim Russian ancestry besides. Now, the, one of the reasons that you have this better educated group is the people who came over were mostly better educated with valuable skills. Those are the ones who could make the trip. And now, again, this number is an old number. In the United States, back a 2000 census, the average income was 55,000, and in, for Chicago, 87,500. I'm sure it's 100,000 now, on average. So why use ethnic media? Okay, we have a targeted, loyal audience. There's a growing population, and I believe it's very cost efficient. You will find, as compared to other forms of media, it's a very reasonable deal, and you're looking at a large affluent group, certainly in the case of the Russian American community. Now, uh, I've met with some of you uh, previously, but I look forward to meeting with th the rest of the group one-on-one -on -one just to discuss a little more about the details about our company. The, the purpose of this was more just general. So, in conclusion, some questions. Jack? Here again, uh, there's websites that you can send people to and it will have your ads, and there's an app, I think you said as well, for phones. Can you explain this a little bit? Well, I mean, we, we have a variety of different media uh, opportunities for our clients, and it, it really covers the whole gamut, as Jack and I have met in the past. I appreciate that. But what I didn't want to do today is make this into you know, a sales kind of thing. It's more just here's what the media is. There's, there's absolutely a, a good reason to consider it for any of your businesses. And uh, again, I'd love to go over it in detail with you all one-on-one, -on -one, you know, as the opportunity comes up. Gary, is there like the, uh, the Russians like in certain areas within Chicago? Is there a community in You know, um, yes, I mean, there, there are certain uh, towns, uh, Buffalo Grove, uh, Vernon Hills, Highland Park, Deerfield. However, it's very spread now. I mean, the, the, it's really, it's really gr growing. And I think the Russian community, because they've been out here 20 years, when they first moved, like any group, they probably very tight together. It's not that they're not still friendly and everything, but th th they're very independent and all over the place. I mean, Rita can tell you that from the Montessori school. I mean, so. Yes? With that the media, being that they're both bilingual, is it mostly the media in Russian, or is it Russian-English, or a combination? It's mostly in Russian. There, there is some English. And you know, I think it's what I liken it to is if you were, let's say, stationed now in Moscow, and let's say you spoke Russian, you might like to look at an English newspaper if you saw it. So I think that's kind of what it is. But these folks, because sometimes people are concerned saying, well, what if somebody, if I advertise and someone calls, I don't speak Russian, they speak English. So you really don't have to worry about that. Yes, Jim. Just from my stuff as fellows, I mean, you, you do the media, so you would, you would actually write ads for me. Immigration is huge for real estate, so uh, I've been trying to find a way to get in, and it's tough not being Polish or Russian. These, these are huge markets for me. Okay. You would help me advertise? Yes. We, could, well, we, we do it one of two ways. With some companies, like for instance, a new large client of ours is Wintrust, they provide the ads for us. But lots of other clients say, can you put something together for us? And we have a creative department that'll do that, sure. We'll, we'll talk to you first, obviously. We want to know what you want to emphasize. Why don't you talk about the medium uh, here? You, you, they have a, a phone book uh, type document, and then there's the newspaper, and then there's the website. Well, I don't have to talk about it then. Yeah. Okay. Well, what, what did you tell everybody? What, well, we, we, have, we have two newspapers, and we have um, a community guide. We have um, uh, the, com the community guide is online. We also have a smartphone app that goes along with that, and we also have networking events. Uh, so we, 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 we look at it as a branding and a relationship that we have with our clients.
It's not just one, it's not just a newspaper or something like that. But we're able to bring a lot of business to, to companies, and the company's been around since 1991. Okay. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you.